Welcome everyone, I'm Ricky from Tech Talk and in today's new video we're going to be unboxing and taking our first look at a new monitor from AOC. This is AOC's CU34G2X, that's the model number for reference. It is a curved gaming monitor that comes from their G line, which is also a second generation model as you can see on the left hand corner. Moving your focus over to the right hand side at the bottom, We've got a couple of key areas, which is adaptive sync technology, 144 hertz, picture in picture or picture by picture. Great for viewing multiple different inputs. Also, it offers 1500R, which is the radius of the curve of your display. 21 by 9 aspect ratio, one millisecond response time, which is measured in MPRT, which is a more proven variant. It also offers HDMI and DisplayPort connectability. So next step, we're gonna get it unboxed and see which accessories come with our display. One thing I like with AOC monitors, they always give you an unboxing experience here on the top, just showing you how to take everything out of the box safely so you actually protect yourself and protect the monitor. Really nice, simple, clear instructions. Moving over to the left-hand side, also it shows you how to add the column and stand, also about the adjustability, which we'll talk about, and then how to connect up to your desktop PC. So again, nice, clear, simple instructions. So in the box, we received a CD, which is gonna have your manual and your driver on them. A little bit of information there, just giving you further details. We've got a UK three pin plug, we also have a display port to display port for connection. We also have a HDMI, again, for connecting up another peripheral if you want to. Then also we have, I want to say this is a mic line because it's pink, normally it refers to a mic, but 3.5 mil jack to 3.5 mil jack there. So that's what we get inside. Also, you do get a column and stand as well. As just mentioned, here is the stand. So quite a sharp design there, quite pointed. So obviously front section, back section, and then you have your column here with a plate. So again, you can see the height adjustments. It's also swivel and tilt with this monitor. So what we need to do is actually put this in here. So what you'll do is line up, simply put in. At the bottom, you're gonna see a locking nut. So this might be already in here. If it's not, it's gonna be within your packaging as well. So just make sure you look out for that. So just tighten this up. You also have a flat head there. You could actually screw it in if you so wanted to. So there's our column and stand ready to go with our display. And that's what we're gonna get out next. Before we connect the column and stand, I thought I'd just show you your display and the connectability here. So we've got some USB ports. So we've got four. You've got fast charge option there. You should also receive this cable. So it have this connection that will go into a USB-A connection and that connect up your USB to your actual device. Obviously I don't have that one because mine's a press unit, so I'll see if I can dig one out. Also along here you can find the buttons as well for controlling your monitor. Prefer a joystick here in the middle, but let's have a look at the connections we've also got along here. So having a look at our connectability, so we've got HDMI 1, HDMI 2, DisplayPort 1, DisplayPort 2, and then a headphone jack here. So that's where you can connect in your headphones if you so want to. And then over this side, we just have the power connection, but I really like this fiery red. It has the sharp angles all the way around. So what we're gonna do now is connect in the column and stand. So I've just pushed up the camera a little bit here so you can see. So with the column and stand, just bring this in again. You'll notice two teeth up here at the top. These need to go in first, and then the other two teeth will automatically lock in. So put them two teeth in first. It does offer a VESA mount connection as well, which is 100 by 100. You heard a very strong click there, and that's thanks to a button that's built into that square panel at the back. So push that up and it releases, but let's put it in again. So you can use this with a mount if you want to, but I'm gonna use the column and stand provided. So that's now the column and stand connected, which is great. I like to see here the rubberized feet, so it isn't gonna damage my desk or the area where it's gonna be standing. So what we'll do is set this up and I'll be back shortly. Welcome back. Our monitor is all set up and ready to go. And it looks absolutely stunning, actually. Its immersion is really good and it really pulls you in. And you've got really dark colors there. So the far left, the blacks do look really pinpoint black. And as you can see, a very bright and vibrant color there in the middle. So I'm really looking forward to using this. Currently connected to my MacBook Pro, which is the 16 inch version, so 2019. And that's running through a HDMI. Like I said, I keep trying to make my gaming machine or try and get a gaming machine to really push it to its level. And that's what I want to do. So I can do a bit of gaming through this 
this MacBook actually is quite powerful. So I can try and sort of get Windows on there and have a look at gaming. And I will explore about gaming. But now we're set up, let's just go through a couple of the key specs just before we finish off. Then of course, in about three weeks time, I'll bring you my review after using it on a daily basis then really put it through its limits on its best features and the best specs. So it is a 34 inch WQHD resolution. So it's a wide quad HD resolution, which is really nice to see. Its actual resolution is 3440 by 1440. So it is quad HD resolution. It's a V8 display, which means vertical alignment, and it is more suited towards gaming, which means your colors will come alive and it's very responsive and very fast. As I mentioned, it does have a bit of ergonomic to the base, so it offers a swivel, a tilt and a height adjustment, and I'll go through them a lot more during the review, but it's nice that you can actually rotate or move your monitor to wherever you need it to be. It also comes with a VESA mount, so you can connect a VESA mount into this if you want to, and you can lose the stand. I do really like the stand though. It's got this bright sort of red at the bottom, which I showed. Then also at the back as well, them striking red bright stripes there from AOC, looks really nice. And I've tried to add a little bit of red light in the background, but the colors really do pop and come alive. And the 34 inch is the, one of the best displays for me. It's a great size. It's quite compact actually, it's sitting on the desk quite well, but I do have a large desk anyway. So what we're gonna do, something a little bit different, I'm gonna go over to AOC's website and we're gonna go through the key details on their website and just highlight what they are to you, but also show you the different colors and the levels that you're gonna get from this display. And of course, the link to AOC to go and get further information about this monitor will be in the description. I've got my mouse here, so let me find my pointer. So we're just gonna scrub along here. And this is actually AOC's website about this monitor. So as you can see here, they've got like a little blurb which sums it up really good. A 34 inch curved gaming monitor with 144 Hertz refresh rate, one millisecond response time and a 21 by nine aspect ratio display. And it is the model that we mentioned. It has the resolution as well as I discussed there. But all of this information will be put in the description and you can go and check it out for yourself. But I thought we'd just come across here and have a little look as well. So FreeSync technology, it offers the FreeSync technology, AMD FreeSync technology, which is really good and that helps with gaming performance. It offers ultra wide, so let me just tap out here. So we've got the ultra wide and as I mentioned, it's 1500R. So the R stands for radius and it's 1500 is the measurement around the curvature. 144 Hertz refresh rates, very fast. One millisecond response time, which is the MPRT version. And as I mentioned, this is a more professional measurement of response time. So it's really good to see that there. So it means your games are gonna be quick, fluid, and smooth. They've won some awards. And then down here at the bottom, we've got some pricing. So there's different pricing here, and it varies anywhere from the prices you see on screen, all the way up to about 530 pounds, depending. So I'll put some of these links in the description for you. So to finish off, I want to bring you over to my channel, where I'd ask you to subscribe and ring the notification bell to stay updated with all of my future videos, including the review of this 34 inch curved gaming monitor from AOC, which I'm really impressed with. And I'm gonna throw it over to you. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. While you're there, also give the video a like as it does help. And if you have any questions or queries, drop a comment below and I'm more than happy to help. For me, Ricky, and the very impressive curved gaming monitor here from AOC, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.